In today's clip, I will show you how you can draw this really simple image using watercolors and oil pastels. You could use this image, you could use a different image, it could be of a cat or another animal or a portrait. But I will show you how you can use this process to paint this image in a little over an hour. So let's get on with the tutorial. The process I'm going to use for making this image is an oil pastel transfer. The first thing that I'm going to do is cover the back of the photocopy and as I said you can use the reference image. Details for this image are in the description below as are details of all the equipment that I've used in today's tutorial. And you can use this image or an image of your own. And what I've done is I have put oil pastel over the whole of the back of the image. I have then stuck that image to some cartridge paper, which is 220 GSM. And I'm then going to go over all of the dark areas with a pen. You can use a sharp pencil, but a pen, a biro pen is better because it's sharp and it stays at the same sharpness. Now, usually I would just use a piece of masking tape at the top, but I'm just going to stick that down at the bottom because it's a little bit warped. And then I'm going to go over all of the areas with my pen, going over all of the dark areas. Obviously the eyes are dark and then I will continue to lift up just to make sure that I'm covering all of the areas that I need to with my photocopy and that I'm ca catching all of the details that I need to. And you will find that this process is very straightforward and it helps those of you, especially if you enjoy the painting process, but you find that you can't get all of the details that you need. This means that you can get an effective image in a very short period of time. This painting didn't take me much longer than about an hour and an hour and a half. And the reason for that was because I used a hairdryer in between drying my layers. So say for example, you've had a hard day at work and you want to come home and chill out and do a painting, this would be a great alternative for you. Now I'm very carefully taking off the masking tape. Make sure you do it slowly so that it doesn't rip. And then I'm going to very carefully take off any excess oil pastel that's come off the print with a putty rubber so you should be able to do that fairly easy just make sure you avoid any of the details that you want to keep on and then I'm going to put washi tape again very carefully around the edge if you want to reduce some tack to make sure you don't rip the edges then just put that on some fabric and that should take any excess tack off the edge of your washi tape so I'm going to add that to my watercolor then I will apply a layer of clean water to the areas that I'm going to start painting I know I won't start painting the eyes in this particular section on this layer so I'm not going to apply water to the eyes I'm only going to apply water to the other areas now you may ask, why am I not using watercolour for this watercolour painting? So the reason that I'm using good quality cartridge paper, 220 GSM. The details are in the description below. It's a brand that I've used before called Frisk. It's because I want to get the right texture for my print whilst being able to use watercolour. And there will be a little bit of warping, but not a lot. Whereas if I used cold pressed watercolour paper, then we would have a texture and the print might not take to all of the areas so I'm using a paper that works for both of those processes. So now I'm starting to add Payne's Grey on top of the water. I'm using a wet on wet technique which means there's quite a lot of water on the surface because I want to get a smooth texture to my marks so that the water in the watercolour will expand into the water and you will have some very soft marks. I'm going for quite a loose feel in this painting and this is the first layer. I'm adding Payne's Grey and all of the colours that I'm using in today's painting is in the right hand side so those of you that are planning out your work those are the four colours that I'm using in today's painting. I'm also using a pipette, a plastic pipette to drag off any excess colour so if I can notice there's a pool of colour I'm quickly dragging that off with the pipette.
so when I finished painting this layer I wanted to get this painting finished fairly quickly I just wanted to come home and do a quick painting so what I did was I dried the painting with a hairdryer and then I put the painting in a heavy book with some other really heavy books on top and it took about half an hour to 45 minutes to dry and what I'd done also was I sprayed it on the back with the spray mister um, because that helps to loosen it a little bit especially if it's warped it was a tiny bit warped so that then flattened it ready for this next layer So here I'm going to now start adding finishing touches with white gel pen and Prismacolor pencils. The reason I'm using Prismacolor in particular is because the white pencil is really opaque and is really good for the whiskers. And I'm going to use a combination of the white Prismacolor and the white gel pen. Um, please see description below for all of the products. You will find links directly for all of those products in the description below. If you enjoyed this clip then make sure you check out more clips like this in the watercolour playlist. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of the photograph and the products used in today's clip and if you have any ideas for content or questions then please leave a comment below. Finally don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content.